So from here, left hand down beside you, reach the right arm up and over, big side body stretch, then take it all the way back through center and over to the other side. We'll just do a couple more on each side, keep breathing. And just keep it going, just a few rounds here. Warm up the spine. If you need to make any other little moves here, please feel free. And we'll start to walk it out. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Maybe you could bend both knees together if that feels good. And so gripping down through the fingertips. And inhale, high plank. And exhale, downward dog. Two more. Inhale, high plank. Think of drawing your belly button towards the spine. And then exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Step left foot back. So warrior two, right knee over right ankle. Open the arms out nice and wide. Then from here, reverse your warrior, take it up and back. And then back into warrior two. Triangle pose, straighten the right leg and reach the right arm forwards and down. Left arm rises. Two more breaths. Option to gaze down if the neck feels tired. And back into warrior two, bend the right knee. And then cartwheel the hands down, plank pose. Ooh, back into your plank. Pause there, squeeze belly button back towards the spine. And then downward facing dog, really nice. Breathing into the back body. Just a few more breaths. And then very gently, let's make our way back into tabletop. Swing the feet around, take the bottom to the left and then the feet all the way out in front of you. We'll come in for a little twist here now. So step right foot in and you can either stay here or step it over the left leg or if you wish, wrap that left leg around. So this is called Adamatsyandrasana, half lord of the fishes. If you're doing the wrap around, make sure that both sitting bones are firmly grounding down to the earth. If they're not, then just bring that left foot back out in front of you. So a little twist to the right, right hand back behind you, make sure you're tucking it in, and then either hug that right knee, or for more of a challenge, hook. But just take your time, whichever variation feels good. If the leg is out, make sure toes are pointing up. And then we're gonna take a variation of happy baby, so, from here, I would normally suggest holding on to calves or ankles or feet. What I'm gonna to suggest today is that we take our arm underneath the leg and then just hold on to wherever's good. So it might just be the calf, might be the ankle. So we're just cultivating a little bit of a hip uh, opening here as well. Take a little sway from side to side. Keep those feet pointing up towards the sky. Happy baby pose. And gently start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Bring some gentle movement back into the body. And when you feel ready, starting to stretch, take the arms up and overhead. Nice big stretch. Point the toes. Grow a little bit taller. And 
mindfully hug the knees in towards the chest, a little rock from side to side. And rolling onto your right side, make a pillow with your hands and just resting here for a moment. And then making your way all the way back up into seated, any comfortable seated position is good. Bring the hands together at the heart. Exhale. And bring the thumbs to the third eye. Exhale. Bow the head and take a gentle bow. 